Okay, so we've had a look at the deck assembly controls. We'll now have a look at a channel strip. So I'm just going to start transport. So the channel strip is laid out very much like a mixer. At the very top, we've got FX1 and FX2 assign buttons, which I'll discuss in a little while. We have a level control, three band EQ, channel metering, crossfader sign, Q, and then channel fader. So the first thing we're going to do is, because we've got the channel meters, I'm just going to bring up my level to around 0 dB. So I know that I've got my audio coming through. And then I'm just bring my fader up. So obviously the crossfader sign is X, Y. There will be a crossfader, a sign curve within the software. The EQ is total kill to either plus 6 or plus 12. Again, you can set that up in the setup screen if you refer to the user guide. The Q button obviously cues a channel. We have a quick look at our uh, queuing section. Basically, we have a headphone control and we have a split queue. So when we're in split queue mode, we basically get the queued signal in the left earpiece whilst we get the main mix signal in the right. And the channel fader, as you would expect. Another feature we've got with the Zone DX is that we can take external inputs and run them through the decks. As a demonstration, I'll do this on the channel that's currently playing. If I press down Shift and hit the Q button, you see the Q goes orange. And if you look, the waveform in software has gone grey. This is now set to external mode, so if I just start my CD player, you can hear that and I can hot switch between the two. Now we can do this for all channels. On channel 1 we can have line only, on channels 2 and 3 we have a switchable between phono and line with analog phono preamps, and on channel 4 we can switch between line and the microphone input on the front of the DX.